Just think of it. For thousands of years of human civilization, nobody had paper airplanes to keep them distracted and entertained. Thank God we were born in our era. With some cheap materials, a little time, and some ingenuity, you can kindle some of the joy of the proverbial dream of flight. Now, I don't do origami planes, but technically they're still paper planes. Cardstock and chipboard are, in fact, paper products. And they range from simple to moderately complicated, and from derivative to fantastical. I started the channel in 2017 with a trio of planes, a low high and a mid wing. I give myself some points for variety. Episode zero, trying to show my love for Grumman, but kind of failing. This last episode established at least an early premise that the cardstock airplane should bear resemblance to a flying craft or creature, not just be a profile or a stick with wings. And how were the flights in those old videos? Pretty darn terrible. Episode one, the invasion glider. Let's go invade some stuff. By the way, I like these materials uh, because they're cheap, easy to work with, but um, I already contribute a lot of plastic and foam to the waste cycle, so I prefer to avoid those things with my airplanes. Chasing a butterfly uh, across a park, ignoring the importance of background and light, and so on. Episode two, I still have a duplicate of this jet prototype, actually. I made one to make sure the plans were free of errors. And I did some little explainers and still doing some of my videos with expert level graphics, of course. This one uh, is trying to show how a plane uh, is restored to level flight when side slipping, if it has a dihedral wing. Sport and standard gliders, I'm gonna skip over because I think I'll do a, a new episode dedicated to those there um, on my Instructables page. On to episode four, Cloud Racer and Jungle Racer. Quite good at aerobatics, almost impossible to fly in straight lines. I, I'm not crazy about details. Um, anyway, this is one of my favorite throws. Very difficult to capture how much fun it is. Uh, there was the Fern Dragon, episode five, and the alternate color schemes. A fun design, but quite skittish in the air and the ones I had professionally printed just never flew as well as the prototypes I think has something to do with the printing process or the rigidity of the paper that uh, they used anyway on to big blue bigger planes fly better that's some advice that um, I could stand to keep in mind more from time to time uh, based on a design I made when I lived in the Caribbean actually and that's where I started this hobby um, so a little uh, montage, I guess. Beautiful place to live. You do, in fact, get bored from time to time on an island. You can't always be on the beach. Um, Got to thank all my friends uh, for teaching me things like surfing and diving and showing me music and origami, just being great people, generous people, uh, astronomy, contemporary literature, but also for uh, my neighbor, specifically Nick, thanks for teaching me about CG and wait because that's why my first planes didn't really fly at all and um, once that problem was solved it became really fun and I made a ton of planes and back in California um, didn't make so many for a while but then started the channel definitely had some failed designs along the way um, but generally have gotten better and I think this uh, Navy fighter homage here is evidence of that compared to episode zero uh, especially Episode 7, the Deltas. The sun version, the moon version. These ones are good for straight flights, so let's look at a couple of those. Episode 8, the Big Dragons. Pretty decent glides, uh, having the help of the slope, of course. Hope you don't mind too much that I cheated a little there. They could pass the yard test, too. That's about 45 feet, 15 meters across the yard there. Uh, the bodies were made from strips of chipboard glued together and placed in a, a form uh, to hold them in a serpentine shape as they dried. The Red Racer. 
All around a very fun play and one of my favorites, actually. I don't mind angular designs, of course. Uh, heavy enough for good directional stability. Dashing across the yard, but light enough uh, to do some great loops and turns. And that was the first video where I messed around with the zip line, and that's been a lot of fun ever since. Again, struggling uh, to find ways to put uh, the joy of all this onto a little screen. Okay, that's it. Episode 10 is about the little white plane you see there, comparable in size to the Navy fighter from episode zero. So just for comparison, how the flight's doing now? Quite a bit better. Take care, make a plane, catch a breeze, have some fun, and bye.